Scorpio, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading, 29th of March through to the 4th of April. We have April's Fool's Day this week. Lovelies, I've just been saying to the other signs, instead of putting pranks on people, because we're all exhausted from this year, we all really could do with something else in our lives. So going back to the tarot, where we've got the full card, and what that means is taking a leap of faith around something or somebody. So instead of using April Fool's Day negatively, or maybe you think it's going to be funny, and somebody else just won't take it in good part, um, why not think about taking that leap of faith and finding out whether something is with is in your higher good or not. So it's taking a leap of faith around something you've wanted to do, somebody you may have wanted to talk to, or maybe it's just taking some time out. Um, but having that leap of faith instead of using April Fool's Day in a negative connotation after everything we've been through this year. So darlings, your energy for this week is you've got daughter. The answer um, to your question involves your daughter. Now, I know I'm, I'm going to hear people going, I haven't got a daughter, this isn't for me. No, 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 hold your horses. Because a daughter doesn't necessarily have to be blood related. I have got lots of girlies around me who consider me to be their mum and I consider them to be my daughters. Not because I gave birth to them, but because I have had a lot to do with them throughout their formative years. And I have taken a part to play in how they have adjusted and become um, nice women. Um, they are your daughters. Daughters can mean so much more than we think. Nieces, it can be... Um, friends children it can be god daughters goddess daughters all of that sort of thing so don't knock this out of the water just because it says a daughter card um your daughter does not necessarily have to be related to you and sometimes you know i just i just had a bit of a Sometimes it's because we are the daughter as well. Um, and the answer could lie within ourselves. So, let's get your what the fuck underway and what started your what the fuck for Scorpio. What started the what the fuck for Scorpio? I'm sorry Scorpio, I think I'm going to have to get, get up and let the dog in because he's barking i don't really care to be honest it's warm outside um and i'm not that fussed about the neighbors at the moment so what started the what the fuck for scorpio well, i've just been told to take that one facing your fears and taking your power back scorpio That's your manifestation, your wish fulfillment. Let's get your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, lovelies. So what the fuck is out of your hands, Scorpio? Sorry, I went off in a bit of a, 
a days then and I was getting um, a download around um, a sports facility um, like a country club type thing um, and the reason I'm saying that is because they were showing me where I go um, and I'm getting the for some people, sports facilities have become really difficult to access. And I'm not talking about the UK because we know we're in complete lockdown. We're just coming out of it. But I'm kind of getting that um, something sporty has caused an issue. I can't get any more than that. All I can say is that it could involve a gym. It could involve... Um, some sort of club but there there is something that is just really difficult at the moment so what the fuck is happening next for scorpio that was a hell of a download because i went right off um Wow, I have no idea what that was about. <laughs> um, sorry, darlings, I'll just let the uh, dog in and the cat run in as well and she nearly tripped me up. So lovelies, well started your what the fuck. Scorpio, I'm getting that you've been in the shadows for a while. I'm not getting that you just observed something. I'm getting that you stepped away from something and observed it from afar. And now you're getting ready to emerge with the information that you've gathered. You're going to walk towards that wishing well. And things are going to emerge just like a butterfly. You're going to feel the sun on your face. Um, and things will feel a whole lot better than they have done for quite some time. Now, I am getting that these people are ahead of you for some reason. I'm getting that there is a distance between you and somebody else. Um, and that distance is what you've been observing. Um, and you're emerging and I'm getting into better days. Because starting facing your fears and taking your power back, Scorpio, you've got the king of um, chalices, which is the king of water. And I have to say that this is one of your cards, lovelies. Um, this king for me is this person that doesn't offer how they feel very often. They bury it completely deeply. Um, but I got that you're stepping into your power because you're going to go blow it. I ain't fucking tell them how I'm feeling. I'll raise a glass to them, I'll sit at the table with them, but I ain't telling them. Um, I'm not putting myself out there for that. I'm not putting myself back out into the sunshine just to be knocked back again. Good for you. <laughs> and making that decision has given you the yes card. It's given you the go ahead card. Go for it. Your roots are strong. You know they are. Your roots go deep into the ground. You splay out of overnight and day and all seasons. You've got the serpent for luck. And darlings, I'm saying to you, this emergence that you're doing and this decision that you've made not to tell people how you're feeling is exactly the way they're telling you to go. Um, normally, I don't like the king of chalices very much because I find that is, they're closed off and, and they don't express themselves and they don't do this, they don't do that. Um, and I find them quite smug. But when with you, I've just got this real sense that you really have made the decision, I am not going to fucking express how I feel. I'm not going to give them anything to kind of use that is going to hurt me. And rightly so, if, if you have been in this position where you've been watching something from afar and now you're starting this emergence, why would you put yourself back into a situation where you've got to start talking about how you feel knowing that it's going to make you vulnerable um, and not want to face things again. 
So yeah, they're saying absolutely that is the right way for you to go. And you will find that that, that tree, that world tree will just get stronger and stronger and stronger. And you will gather a lot of strength from that. Now that doesn't mean that you get to close off completely about your emotions. Do not shut yourself down. Open your heart space up for yourself. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, darlings, you're manifesting that you do, you want to take a leap of faith. I'm not quite sure what over, but I am getting that you want to take a leap of faith around some sort of issue. Um, oh gosh, I just heard move. You don't know whether to move or not, and that a move. Oh God, it could mean so many things. Could it? It could be a move of career, a move of home. A move into a different family, a move away from what you know, a move into something you don't know. But you're asking for this leap of faith. You're asking for support around this leap of faith. Darling, start actioning it. Whatever it is, start actioning it because they're saying if you take that leap of faith, they are with you. They are with you. And that's whoever you believe in or the universe or whatever. So lovelies, your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, Scorpio, you're the Queen of Pentacles now, this could be an energy around you, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, um, she is the Queen that sits looking over her kingdom, knowing that she's brought um, stability and abundance to her kingdom, knowing that she's brought love and comfort to her kingdom, her tree also is deeply rooted into the ground she knows that she has given her all and now she sits in great pride watching her subjects um emerge with great satisfaction and accomplishment and darling's right in behind that you have some choices to make with the seven of chalices now these are choices these are options these are blessings however you want to put them they are all yours if you want them. You can take one or two. You can take all of them. Do not listen to the whispers of others around this issues, these issues, this issue, um, because they will have you thinking that it's not the right time or it's not the right thing to do. Tell them where to go. Tell them where to go. They are your choices. You decide whether the time is right. And with this... Um, earth mother standing right beside you i'm going to say know that you are loved and comforted not just physically in this world but also by the other world the universe they've got your back and they're saying come on you need to look at these options you need to look at these blessings properly without other people whispering in your ear so darlings with this also another seven with the seven of wands coming in as to what you can do about the situation is don't overstretch yourself. Do not put yourself into precarious situations in order to reach a passion or a desire. All of those ones are equal. There's no that are identical. There's no difference between them. They're all yours. So why would you reach up for one? That is no different to the bottom one, no different to the top one. They all bring their own blessings. They're all equally spaced out. Lovely, stand on the freaking ground and flick them all off with the bottom one. I swear to God, that's exactly what I would do. But the, the message is, do not overstretch, do not overreach, do not put yourself in danger in the pursuit of your passions and desires, lovelies. What is out of your hands currently? Timing is out of your hands. The time isn't right. This is Father Time. And I got that straight away. So, yet yeah, he goes out and searches for knowledge and wisdom and truth and all the rest of it. But he's also Father Time. And straight away I heard the time isn't right to be making decisions around a partnership. This is the Lord and Lady. This is an equal partnership. It can be business. It can be love. It can be family members. It can be friends. But now is not the time to make the decision around this partnership because there is still discussions going on about how you get to a destination. You you both want the same destination. You're just not sure how the journey is going to pan out. And I've just heard that for some of you, this may be discussions around um, a separation. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but I just heard separation. 
Um, so perhaps you're just bashing things out at the moment, but it's like you're bashing your head against a brick wall because that person who's got the Sith is not really listening to your point of view and you're not listening to theirs because you both think you're right. Um, so you want the same result, but you just have got different ways of getting there and you may have to agree to disagree in order to move beautifully on your journey with the Knight of Wands also out of your reach right now, which is journeying towards this sunshine. And what they're saying is remember not to argue about what's going on and to enjoy the journey as well as the destination. So reconnecting to your true self, Scorpio. You've got the harvest coming. Seeds have been sown over so many seasons. Your harvest is finally coming in. You're finally seeing some results. And you're getting that you're really relaxed about it, pleased about it. You're sharing it. You you know, you've got somebody in that doorway to share it with. Um, I'm kind of getting that this harvest is going to bring some fruition to you that you never even expected because it was seeds that were sown so long ago um that it's almost like oh well they're never gonna come up they're never gonna grow that that idea is never gonna come to anything and all of a sudden you are going to find yourself with a whole basket of everything the cornucopia is going to be full darlings so what the fuck is happening next you've got the page of pentacles coming in telling you that there's an apprenticeship at hand now this could be your apprenticeship it could be your child's apprenticeship but this is learning something going forward to add to your toolkit in order to help you make a decision on a quest that you want to take out that you want to go out to um the sun's got your back your chalices have got your back they're all in the upright um, but you're still kind of like, well, where do I go? This page is bringing the message that it is something new. You do need to learn something before you embark on this particular journey. Um, and it's not that far away, I have to say. So right at the bottom of the deck, what's out of your soul, what, What's hidden from you is even better. What's hidden from you is the thought of a thames. And darlings, this is you taking some time out to relax and think things through properly. Wouldn't it be lovely if we could go, all go by that blooming lake and just go and lose ourselves? But that's what they're saying to you to do is just lose yourself in inwards in order for you to think things through properly. Make sense of everything that is going on around you because there's lots of bits happening in different places but it does not seem that it is all joined up at the moment i don't believe this i've just really shuffled that deck three times once after once after virgo once when i was just shuffling the decks to clear them and then i've shuffled it again for you and you got the same card out as virgo and it could be that you're dealing with a virgo so go and have a look at their reading as well. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. That's what they got as well. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. 29th of March to the 4th of April for Scorpio. anything else so darlings you got the white witch and this says be the light you have oracle wait for important information you have the mountains stand your ground and you have Sholin master be graceful in movement and action. And darlings, that is your reading. 29th of March through to the 4th of April. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe. And I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.